welcome back to explore electronics in this video let us see three phase connection in that star connection in this circuit you can see three coils are connected together in a star connection fashion where one end of the coil is connected to a neutral point that is n this will be called as a neutral point the other ends will be open that is point a b and c here you can see the phase voltages such as an this is a phase voltage ean in between a and n and this is a phase voltage ebn and similarly here we can write ecn these three are the phase voltages similarly we can write the line voltages here as in between a and b point this is eab similarly here it is ebc and also in between a and c if we write this it is eac this is the line voltage by looking at the circuit we can see this is the current flowing through this line ia and here ib current flows similarly here ic current flows in the star connection we can say this ean ebn and ecn let me write ean ebn and ecn are the phase voltages these three are the phase voltages and these are equal to e phase similarly we have line voltages such as eab ebc and eca or eac are the line voltages these line voltages are equal to e line voltage and if you come to the currents here ia ib ic are the line currents these line currents are equal to phase currents line currents equal to phase currents in star connection so we can write it as i line is equal to i phase so in star connection line currents and phase currents are same but voltages are different so we need to find out what is the voltage eab if we consider this is the uh, eab is the line voltage in between a and b by adding ean and ebn so let us see how to find out the line voltage eab so line voltage eab can be written as ean this is ean ebn is in the opposite direction minus ebn i am going to write so this can also be written as an plus enb so let us write the vector diagram for this so by taking ebn in this direction starting from here i am going to write this as ebn similarly in this direction we will be having ecn in downwards we will be having ean so to find out eab eab is the addition of ean as well as minus ebn so i need to extend this back to get minus ebn this is my minus ebn and eab is the addition of these two so we are going to get the addition of these two vector with eab here and we know that we will be having a difference of 20 degree between these three so this is also complete 120 degree in that this angle is 60 degree so this becomes 30 degree now let me draw the perpendicular so let me draw a perpendicular that is let me call this point as a this point as o and this point as b so if i draw the perpendicular here with 90 degree let me call this point as c so draw perpendicular ac on ob line this is ob line i am writing the perpendicular here that is ac in between ac now this is 90 degree so from this triangle from the triangle oca 
we can see this is the right angle triangle now so if you apply cos 30 degree this is 30 degree so cos is adjacent divided by hypotenuse here the adjacent side is oc divided by hypotenuse that is oa so oc can be written as ob divided by 2 this is exactly half of ob so ob divided by 2 divided by oa what is ob here ob is eab so it is eab divided by 2 divided by ean so we can rewrite it as eab by 2 is equal to ean cos 30 degree so now we can write the expression for eab by taking this 2 to right side 2 times ean into cos 30 degree we know that cos 30 is root 3 divided by 2 root 3 times 2 so i can cancel this 2 to so eab becomes ean into root 3 what is eab here eab is the line voltage ean is the phase voltage so the relationship between the line voltage and the phase voltage is that so if you take the line voltage el is equal to root 3 times the phase voltage this is what we have derived for the star connection